Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. Poorly? We'll find out, especially today. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. We are on our way to fight a wanted battle, if we can find him. Yep, we're in uh, Upper Sky over the Lands of Ice. Uh, this is the second to last wanted battle. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. that looks like it yep. right there. Yeah, uh, so the little bit of a vague description. It's just the, a ship flying over the Lands of Ice. But that definitely looks like the right one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a couple things of note. We went ahead and kind of prepped ourselves for this. So just to let everybody see what I did, I gave, not Ika, I gave <laughs> Fina. <laughs> A constitution gem and what that does is it prevents all adverse effects if you are familiar with the Final Fantasy series it is similar to a ribbon where you are immune to basically like poison confusion sleep all of that status effects yeah yep yeah one so, of my favorite kinds of accessories personally I, I hate status effects right I was gonna give her our defensive aura which I'll explain here in a second but because of her ability to cleanse this status effects uh, widely with her super moves um, it was recommended that we do this so we put her on the constitution gym we gave Enrique the defensive aura the defensive aura renders the wearer invulnerable to normal attacks so not only does it improve his defense but any kind of regular attack that isn't a magic or special move he's a, he's immune to so that will be very helpful um, this will be a, a fight where it's good to use Fina's special moves. Uh, there's a couple of them that will take center stage depending on what's going on here. So, Yep. Here we go. My least favorite fight. <laughs> Isn't it a little fishy for a boat to be out sailing alone on the way out here? Let's move in closer. Let's do it. Who knows? Maybe I'll be lucky and not die 18 times to this guy. That's the plan. But you could see me suffer. Either way, it'll be a good time. <laughs> oh, so this is the ship of the infamous Vice, eh? Not bad, not bad. Of course, I would have it painted in gold and purple. Gold makes everything look better. Get off my ship okay. with your giant cat thing. <laughs> Vice, over there. Cat thing? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Vice, I presume? My name is Daikopia. Very nice to finally meet your acquaintance. What? You mean to tell me that you're the same Daikokuya that's got a bounty on his head? As the wealthiest man in Yafatoma, I live a life of luxury. I had no want of material possessions, and yet I felt unsatisfied. Then I heard about your adventures in Yafatoma, and I realized then that the life of an air pirate was the life that I've been craving. So I bought a ship, got together a crew, and built this machine, Ama, for my personal use. I wanted to travel the skies in search of fun and excitement, just like you, Vice. Well, it's not all fun and games, you know. <laughs> Nevertheless, I believe that it was fate that we have met this day. I think your head would make a fine trophy for me to take home. Cool Sounds violent. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sounds good. <laughs> Only problem is you'll have to beat me first. Fool, there's nothing in this world that money can't buy. Very well. On guard, Vice. I shall make you remember this day. <laughs> How are you for the record, the name Daiko Kuya means big, large, or great. And the name Tama means thunder, roughly. Mm. <laughs> ah. And Rick he has thunder. a funny voice. <laughs> um, yes, it was also recommended that we turn everybody to green, so that is what everybody is doing at the moment. Yeah, so this fight is interesting. Uh, this guy hits pretty hard. Um, yeah, I would definitely uh, go ahead and might get as much focus in as you can. Um, our goal here, while dealing with what he's throwing at us, is going to be to build up for prophecy. Do we need to um, worry about Delta Shield or Shield of Justice at all? No. Uh, well... All right, so that was two questions. But for the first, no, we don't need Delta Shield. Uh, I think focus is good. Um, I don't think, let's see. Yeah, Justice Shield is good. That was it for the first round, yeah. 
Um, I'd recommend doing that every turn, uh, just to make sure here. Now this is gonna buff them with Incrim. So we can use Lunar Winds to remove that. Right, this guy has three million ads. Yeah, he always will try to have three minions out, I believe. Every, like, that's always his first objective is to summon his minions. Yeah. Sort of annoying. It is. But he's, he's pretty slow, honestly, so we'll get a glyph of speed going here, get quick out on the party. Yeah, these guys are no joke either. They've got a decent amount of health. They hit relatively hard. Right. All right, with the speed. Yep. Charge, charge. Yeah, and once um, once the other two get Incrim on them, uh, Lunar Winds may be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, because he's hitting a little bit harder there and they'll have increased defense from that too, so. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Yeah, Fina won't get hit by it, but... Oh, that's okay. annoying. Yeah, so we may want to cleanse that. It's my understanding he's relatively... Oh, never Problem mind. solved. Um, he is relatively sparse with his magic casting, so it's not like some fights where like you have to use this every round or you'll get eternumed you know right but that is a little annoying he doesn't use drill nose or anything um which is good at least i hope that's right <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out yep one more round of this ought to do it he doesn't use drill nose that i'm aware of Those guys should all start hitting Enrique. I know, that'd be really convenient, right? <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to give Fina the, um, the defense war, because she gets beat up a lot. Yep. Here we go. Oh, all boy. Right. Yeah, money makes the, world go round. the big attack. Yeah. Oh, all right. There's why we gave her the Constitution, Jim. Oh! It's gonna hurt. This. Ooh! We do have Prophecy available. Should I do that first? That's interesting that it's available. That means Confuse wore off. Um, because well, I got prophecy, hit, I think. Prophecy as a reminder is a class one, so you'll take the entire round. So there's no reason not to, I don't think. Okay. Yeah. In dire need, the power of the ancients to battle our foe. And that will at least force him to spend a couple of rounds summoning more ads, so. Right. And then what you're gonna wanna do while he's busy with that is build up and uh, use a yellow or red Pirate's Wrath on him. Gotcha. So he'll be busy trying to bring his minions back. Yep. If we're really um, desperate, we can always use an Aura of Valor as well. Yeah. I okay. think this is going relatively well right now, though. Like, we, do, we need a little healing, of course, but... Yeah. Right. Uh, Let me think. Let me use yeah. two of these. That's probably a good idea. Let's try this. Ooh. Yeah, we're not Shield of Justice this round because he will waste his turn summoning. <laughs> so there won't be any damage incoming. Right. But it, and you can see, this is kind of a tough battle. He hits pretty hard. Yeah, I've, I I thought for sure I was about to have to, to uh, res someone already. <laughs> yeah. Fight your own battles. Yeah, I know, right? Get out of here, boo. <laughs> okay, you said yellow? Yellow or red. Right. Pirate's Wrath. 
Pirate's Wrath. Wrath. All right, I'm gonna do another Sacrum Crystal. Yeah. Focus. You can't afford blessing otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. That should be fine. Oh, I didn't even think about Lunar Blessing. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'll do Maybe that. next round. Yeah, I'll we do that do next that. round. Yeah, I think we'll have enough. Yeah, we should have plenty. I just wanted to keep building it up. Oh, man. Good damage. That was great damage. That did more damage than Prophecy did. But Prophecy yep. did technically 20k between the four of them. So. Right, it being a hit-all is why it was superior at the beginning. Otherwise, we would just wrath him down. Oh, crap. Uh -oh. You know... All right. Oh! <laughs> nice. Dodging right, bullets well, over here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I. Yeah, he had to do it because I was like, yeah, he doesn't really do that. Oh. That's wrong. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I'll let this one play out. Because we don't get to see hers very often. Yeah. I like her, her special moves. They're a little more circumstantial, but because there's support, really, and what right. you want to do is DPS things down. But Right. Yeah. They're also just very aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You know oh, what? That's annoying. That's it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right, that should top us off. Yep. Yeah, that's looking much better. Mm-hmm. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Yeah, so we could build up and throw another prophecy here to get rid of the ads again, or you could keep pirates wrathing him. I think either one would be okay. He's about half, I think. Yeah. I think for now. If he summons a third, I think it'd be best to just switch over to the prophecy. Yep. I do agree. Where is uh, Drachma with his spirit charge when you need him? I know, right? Spirit charge is so good. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> never mind. You can do that. Uh, yeah, please. By all means, do that all day. Yeah, I'm okay with this. There's okay. three. Yep. Yeah, I think if I remember this boss's AI correctly, um, with three out, he'll he'll use Golden Flurry. Right. Um, that's enough reason to use Prophecy if possible. Yeah, we're almost there as it is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. might as well. Yeah. Block it in case he uses Eternus again. Yeah, that was... Scary. It was rough. <laughs> it was scary. That was traumatizing. <laughs> I was afraid. You've got some past trauma from this fight. <laughs> I do. Which I can understand. I got bosses in games that are like that. Yeah, Orphan of Cost is another one. If we ever go through Bloodborne again, they will understand my my pain. I think we're gonna have to. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Wish they released it for um PC. I know. That'd be great. Ha. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Yeah. Sadly, I, I forced to agree. One short? Probably. Yep. One short. Of course. Uh, you know, right? Swords? No, just kidding. That won't that won't kill them. I know, right? Um, They're healing each other too often. That's fine. They can keep doing that. Yeah. There's no need to waste the. Um. 
How much do I get per round? Oh, uh, you get 13 per round. So let's let's calculate it. Who are you focusing with? Um, Ika. I can focus with everybody else. I think that might be the best way to go about that. So 16, 13, you would need four. So either vice focus. If you want to use stealth shield and justice shield, you still won't have enough. Okay. If you do it that way, because yep. that would be a usage of 22 minus 13 to nine, and focus with vice would be four, so you'd be five short. Yeah, we should be good with that. Both of them will focus. Yeah. Yeah, this will be a little bit of overkill, but that is perfectly fine. Well, it's more for the defensive capabilities. Yeah. In case, or when he inevitably does uh, Golden Flurry again. Yep. Which I think is might be coming up this round. We'll see. Yeah. Don't see Incremus often with the use of items for that. Here we go. There it is. That was a good call. Uh huh. Yeah. Makes the world go round. It's so funny to me how hard this attack hits. Like, it's not bad with just a shield and Incremus, but yeah. That's. What is that? Like, 30% of what it would normally do or something? Uh. Like yeah, something like that. Do they both? Because it's guard. Incrum reduces by 25% right. incoming damage. So it's closer to... It's not 75, it's, it's not additive, it's... Alright. <laughs> yeah, once again, are short here. That's okay, though, because Incremus was a good idea. So. Yeah, I think so. I think overall that was a good decision. Just gotta be a little patient. Do it the next round. We'll top off we this didn't. time. Yeah, keep doing that. They're in this loop of giving each other Sacrus Crystals, and I am here for it. Don't use it on the bottom, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, even if they do at least one of those, I think we'll be alright. They've healed the boss with Sacrus Crystals twice now. Have they? Yes, twice. Okay, I missed it's that. A, it's not too bad, but yeah. Oh, there's three. Make that three times, yep. That's okay. Which still does it. That's only that's only negated like half of the pirate's wrath. Mm, Should have Delta shielded. I felt it in my gut. I guess he does this after Golden Flurry, maybe. Oh, misses. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so glad that has a missed chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he had Eternum, that would be a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Get these ads out of here. You summon Meteor Vice. Nah, summon Moon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Bunch. This is the fight I was dreading this whole game, so I am glad that this is going as well as it is. Yeah, I think we'll get him pretty quick here. No need for another prophecy, I think. Wrath and then whatever else you want to throw at him. Yeah, I think so too. Be three for three. You find out. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I clinch up just a little bit every time he does that. He is really bad with that move. Yeah, I think you can run this to the finish here. <laughs> Easy fight. <laughs> it's because you're watching. Yeah. 
like, I cannot express how much trouble I had with this boss last time. I had to ask for help. Hmm. Had to ask for help? Yeah, like someone else who had beaten this particular boss far more than I had. I was just like, can you please tell me what I'm doing wrong? Uh, and they were like, nothing. Oh. <laughs> nothing. Um, a mutual friend of ours. But Oh, I got you. Oh. Nice. Oh, I can breathe. <laughs> and that's our third idol, I believe. Yep. Yep. That should be for Penta. Yeah. I give up. You win. I wouldn't have expected any less of you. I think I'm spitting with you. Please don't be. That power. <laughs> that strength. I guess there really are things this world that money can't buy. You've learned quite an important lesson. So why don't you just stop wasting your money and quietly go home? <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> You are speaking to the one and only Daikokia. While I promise to cause no more trouble, I will not discontinue my travels around the world. <laughs> You're an energetic old guy, aren't you? Well, well, if it isn't vice. We managed to get ourselves lost in this frigid place. I'm frozen stiff. I was hoping that you would warm me up, vice. Um, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Hardly partly. But I know you love belongs to someone else. I guess this means I found yet another thing that money cannot buy. Well, Vice, you sure are popular these days. Look at his face. I would react the same uh -huh. way, though. All hands on deck. <laughs> Prepare for an emergency escape. <laughs> run away! Run away! <laughs> the only time we can run away and it not hit our swashbuckling hit. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. That's really funny. <laughs> Vice, popular with the ladies and Daikokia, <laughs> apparently. Who we? All right. Go ahead and save. Yeah, I get that one. That uh, bump in the road taken care of. Um, and we can go turn that in. What is our swashbuckling rank? It's a good question. I should just Not fly south. Where am I going? Sure, you should go south. Yes. Uh. It is King of Rogues still. Okay. So maybe it will change once we turn this in. Who knows? Do we get points for turning in bounties? Y yeah, I believe so. Okay. So we might finally have, um, what is it, the ship battle one, I think? Um. Or Exploration King one two. So if it goes by this... Yeah, it should be the Sky Battle King. Sky Battle, you say? Yeah, so I'm assuming we've been just kind of hanging out at... Oh, I, I think I understand. So there's a range for King of Rogues, so we have to exceed that range in uh, order to get a special. That's that, the problem. That makes right? sense. Okay. Yep, so we'll get some more points here, and maybe we'll get uh, we'll get a special title. That'd be awesome. Would be cool. I've been talking yeah. it up for a while. Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, we would technically get Vice the Charismatic for recruiting all potential crew members, but the Sky Battle King is a higher priority one, I believe. Yeah. Um, and we don't have the extravagant, um, all of the extravagant items just yet. Nope, we are missing um, one. That one is lower than Sky Battle King as well. We'll see. All right. 20,000 for defeating Daikokia the Wealthy. Beautiful. We got one more. <laughs> this guy. Lost in the lands of Ice Region, he was rescued by the Blue Rogue Vice. Oh, he got lost. Interesting. He promised not to cause any more trouble, but refused to give up on his dream to travel the world. He has been spotted in various cities buying gifts by the boatload. He's going to be a good person. Sort of. I didn't mean to do that. We have to talk about various things. I don't... I don't, No. <laughs> no! Uh, Alright, let's see if it changed. What do we got? Yeah, what do we got? King of Rogues. Nope. Not yet. Or forever the King of Rogues. Yeah, so the swashbuckler rating uh, King of Rogues is 216 through 225, and you have to get to 226 to get a special title. Makes sense. 
So we will get that before too long here. We got some more opportunities coming up. Um, next objective here is going to be to head to Crescent Isle. We made it back. Look at that. Listen to that victory sound. Yeah. Should I talk Let's to, to Robom? Robom, yeah. Robom. Dramatics. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my dentures? Oh my god. Watch this. These are plans to enable a ship to hit a deep sky. Can you use these plans to modify the Delphinus? Darn tootin', but it all takes me some time. Heh, I can't wait to get started. I can have it done in ten days. Good. If anyone can do it, it's you. Ah, uh, maybe we should have upgraded and then... Oh well. We'll get there. Nah, that's alright. Yeah, this is just kind of an event, I think. Modifications to the Venus began on that day. We needed ten days to finish our preparations. Crescent Isle began to bustle with activity. Using the blueprints that we took from Valua, Robin was hard at work rebuilding the engine of the Delphinus. I can't wait to see what lies in the deep sky with my own eyes. Far beneath the great blue sky, beneath the clouds, I can hardly I can already imagine that the atmospheric pressure must be high. We must reinforce the Delphinus's hull to make sure that it doesn't collapse under pressure. We're becoming a subs airship. <laughs> yup. Ever since that day, Enrique began to spend more and more time by himself. Looking back, losing Gregorio must have been the hardest thing Enrique has ever faced. And then, on the tenth day, night fell on Crescent Isle. I remember lying awake in my bed for a long time before I finally fell asleep. And then you had the lullaby. Oh, I still don't feel rested. Maybe because I stayed up all night the day before yesterday working on the Delphinus. I should head over to the port. If everything went according to schedule, the modifications should be finished by now. Yeah, I think I think these scenes actually enable the upgrades on Ryukan's shop. So oh, there we go. Got to do it in that order, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we can um, head up and talk to Domingo up in the uh, meeting room. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, get that done. We'll get some Domingo. stuff from him. Oh, right. Got to turn in our uh, discoveries. discoveries. Mm -hmm. And we should probably talk to Pinta, right? He's just, I think he's in the crew quarters. Yes. Yes, because he's looking for those idols. Mm -hmm. Tika Tika. He's got to look out for stuff. <laughs> My, well, he's helping with our torpedoes, so he can look out as much as he wants. Yep. Domingo. Got to turn discoveries. Yeah. Well, then let's check out your discovery log. Nice. You've completely filled out your logbook. You're amazing. Why, thank you. Nice. <laughs> Are you one of the greatest explorers in history? Not even the legendary Dakot can measure up to you. You are worthy of the, my most prized possession. You can have my title as treasure hunter extraordinaire. <laughs> Domingo's title. Thanks. I think. Is that an Is that item? A, I don't know. Could be. The white map is an accessory, so. Right. Mm. I wonder if it's just like a key you item. got this title. Yeah, there it title. Is. A certificate. <laughs> he like made his own certificate, certifying himself. Self-proclaimed, yes. There's a model of the Delphinus in that room that looked pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's the um like its prototype. Mm-hmm. Because the yeah. um, uh, it's the Valuan style Delphinus ships that we fought. Uh, Spectre, Spectre. 
that has a similar shape to it. That's cool. Yep. All right. And yeah, definitely we'll talk to Ryukan before we leave. Ryukan! Old man, you've been uh, resting uh, on your laurels long enough. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I know. I cannot work in this paltry environment. How can you expect <laughs> me to forge legendary weapons in these conditions? Listen, I've been trying to talk to you all this time. Don't complain to me. <laughs> I require more sophisticated tools. All of the modifications that I need to make this area adequate will cost 4,000 gold. Happily. Thank you, yes. My eyebrows will help me fly. It's good to know that you appreciate quality. I'll have my shop remodeled by the time you return to the island. Look at my eyebrows. Look at my eyebrows. They're very aggressive. Attack eyebrows. <laughs> Carnivorous, if you will. Takes everything I have to keep them in check. You could take bottle caps off with these. Oh, I forgot to go talk to Penta. You know what? Let's leave and come back and we'll talk to Penta. Yeah. Isn't Penta down here? Mm mm. Crew quarters. Oh. I Which thought he is... was in, like, one of these shops or something. Maybe I'm thinking of different. Uh, in the, yeah, he's so in the place where all the rooms are at. Yeah. He's in the lower floor. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should talk to Brabham again. <laughs> <laughs> Mess with the levers. Oh, Captain, we finished modifying the Delphinus right on time. My Captain. <laughs> All right. Lower the pressure shutters. Arto, run. That's right. Ooh, ooh. Start the submerge engine. Urgent engine. That's cool. That sounds cool. Well, what do you think? We have successfully converted the Dolphinus into a cloud devil machine. <laughs> Good job, Robin. Now we'll be able to enter Deep Sky. You really are the best. At my age, I ought to be. Why, well, thank you, <laughs> little lady. Before you go, I heard there's some sort of vortex near Shrine Island. You might be able to submerge through there. Yeah. The vortex near Shrine Island? Got it. All right, everyone, let's get going. Vice, wait a second. I'm actually going to stay here. Bye. Actually, there's something important that I wanted to talk to you about. I... I must return to Valua. I cannot travel with you any longer. This will be my last voyage with you aboard the Delphinus. <gasps> what? Gaussian and the Armata have freed themselves from the control of the Valuan Empire and are acting on their own free will. Gassian probably has some sort of terrible scheme planned. I must return to Valua and report this news to my mother. You must be stopped. You, you can't. It's too dangerous, Enrique. I know that the dangers that I face, and I'm sure that my mother won't readily listen to anything I have to say. But I am still the Prince of Valua. It is my duty to go. Yes. But, Enrique... Princess, do not worry about me. I don't plan on dying just yet. I will... I will return. This I swear. No. Yes. You just said no. No, yeah. Yes, yes, no. No, yes. <laughs> Weiss, after we get Fina's ship, could you bring me to Sailor's Island? I'll be able to borrow a ship there. I hope you know what you're doing. It's a good question. Me too. All right. Well, yeah, we can pop out and then come back and talk with uh with Ryukan and uh, Penta, and then we'll be on our way to uh, Deep Sky. Vice gets all the way out here. Ah, crap! I forgot my wallet. Whoops. Oh. No. Let me back. Not allowed. All right, fine. We'll be back later. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> that makes me grumpy. All right. Southeast is master. Okay, so southeast of Shrine Island. So you know how you were asking about that like elevator thing before? There it is. It's all connected now. 
Look how much they've accomplished in two weeks. This is a really far... Like, yeah, they've got uh, quite a military-industrial complex going in Valua there. They sure do. <laughs> anyway, screw you guys. We're going to go ourselves. We got we got to go down here. We're busy. Here we go. Vortex. One of the coolest places. Uh, yeah, this place is awesome. Looking for Fina's ship. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I can't even imagine like the pressure, the the winds, turbulence. Yeah. Yeah. Do we really have to go in there through that vortex? I I'm afraid I don't know anything about deep sky. I'm a little scared. As you should be. <laughs> the world beneath the clouds, where not even light can reach. All right, we're going under. We have to find Venus ship. Close the pressure shutters. How good your sonar. <laughs> good advice. He's just like, I'm ready. Yeah. Start the submergence engine. Submerge. It'd be like you're descending into deeper atmospheric conditions. It's not like a sub submarine, although you are sort of submerging. Well, as far as sub as far ship. as compare, well, that's why I said sub airship. But as far as we're, the comparisons go, right? Like this is about as submarine as you get. Yeah, pretty much. This is so cool. Like, I was always curious about this, you know, like what is down here? You're getting closer and closer to what might be the surface. Yeah, look at that. So, this is the world beneath the clouds. It's kind of creepy. The surface is covered with a thick layer of mud. Fina's ship is probably stuck in it somewhere. How are we supposed to look for Fina's ship down here? It could be anywhere. Don't worry. Robin told me before we left that he installed something called the Moonstone Sonar into the Delphinus. It's a device that uses the energy from the Moonstones to detect physical objects. You can use it by pressing the B button. Once you press the B button, the sonar will send out a wave of energy. If it detects anything, a question mark will appear on the map. Boop. But if it doesn't find anything, nothing will happen. I forgot about this. Mm -hmm. You'll need to send out a few sonar waves as well as we move around in order to try and pinpoint where the object is. Then, once we've narrowed the location down, press the A button to lower the crane. If there's something under the mud, the crane should pull it out. I see. Find it with the sonar, and then pull it out with the crane, huh? Sonar uses a lot of energy, so we will only use it. We can only use it ten times. But if we get back above the clouds, we can recharge the sonar to be able to use it for ten more tries. So if we run out of sonar charges, we just gotta go back up, huh? Okay, let's start searching. Gotta solar power it. All right. So, there are a couple of very, very good treasures. Um, I think go up one and then to the right one. Okay, when you just talking about one square, right? Correct, one so. square. All right, use the sonar here. Oops. That's the crane. That is the <laughs> crane. I found a fight. Found a fight. <laughs> Whoopsies. In case you were wondering if there were going to be deep sea fish here. Yeah, this is cool looking. That's a ship battle. Mm-hmm. Whoa. All right. Raja. Yeah, so we're seeing a life in this high pressure zone. Oh, near the interesting. Surface of the planet here, huh? I don't have a indicator of what he's going to do. Correct. Yeah. This is Ooh. deep sky. This is. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. 
About the best we can do here is, I think, just blast him, right? Yeah, probably. Man, torpedoes might be rough. Let's see, I don't recall how uh, tough these monsters yeah. were down here. <laughs> But that's okay. It let's you guys see what's going on down here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're seeing the surface. It's covered in mud. Right. Like. Is that? Well, man, that looks violent. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So there's clearly not like a black hole or anything at the center of the skies. At least if there is, there it's like under whatever this is that we're floating above, but it seems like the surface of Arcadia is intact at least. Right. Um Yeah, I um I don't know. I, I, I'm so sorry. I got distracted with this. Um, <laughs> here's my thought. All right. Cause we talked about how we think postulate maybe that the surface of Arcadio wasn't like this at one time. Right. And whatever cataclysmic event that surrounds the black moon possibly could have been what caused the islands to rise from the surface mm -hmm. and create the, the the winds and everything else beneath. Right. I, I feel like that my theory is strengthened not necessarily categorically, but like for me mm -hmm. it is because as we're descending into the vortex, you see surface structure. Right. And then we go down even further, which makes me feel like land masses were there at one point. Land masses, uh, um, yeah, do we see evidence of civilization down here? Um, it, it could have been part of that, too. Um, yeah. Could have been, like, buildings or something. I don't really know. You can't mm. really see it through the clouds. Yeah, clouds and the mud down here. Right, but it seemed like... Okay, I'll do this now. Okay, right, so we should get... There's all sorts of question marks. So what you need to do is go up one, up one square, and then use the crane here. Okay. This shouldn't be a fight. If I'm reading the map correctly. <laughs> there you go. Valorium? Yep. Oh. Okay. So there's two of these down here that we'll be able to get. Gotcha. And we need two of these <laughs> for uh, reasons. Yeah, I forgot about this. All right, where to next? Yep. So um, I'm just going to direct you to the next Valorium, and then I'll direct you uh, to Phoenix ship. And if we want to check anything in the meantime, we can. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is go up one and then to the right, uh, almost as far as you can. You can you can probably to get a more complete sonar scan. You can do one from the edge. So you get that three by three kind of and run the sonar here. OK, and then the edge. So one to the right. Oops, uh, up one. Yeah, and that should be correct for the crane there. This, this place is spoopy. Mm hmm. Valorium. The other thing to consider is this is only I think this is the only part of deep sky. We're going to want to go down downward south. OK, yeah, south. The, this is the only part of deep sky that we explore. You're good here. Uh, one. Yeah. Run the sonar here. 
Okay. One to the left should be your destination. Okay. Got it. And I don't think there's much else in the other um, areas where you can use the crane. So. The crane grabbed onto something. Wait, you said there were three Valorium, right? Or was it just the two? Just two. Okay. Pull it up. Yeah. So, her ship fell so far that mm -hmm. it sank into the muck. And it's still intact. That's impressive. That's yep. a hearty little ship. Very sturdy ship. It's a dorsal Yay! fin. Mm hmm. We did it! It's Fina's ship! Great job. Ika, hurry and get it on board. Aye, aye. Fina, you'll finally be able to get home with this. Yes, thank you very much. This means that I'll have to leave you. Oh, Fina, don't cry. We'll go with you. Oh, Fina, I... Ha! Ah, what was that? There was an explosion off the port bow. Vice, something's coming. Oh. The loco. <laughs> Remember that talk about recurring bosses? <laughs> <laughs> I found you, Vice. I still haven't forgotten what you did to my ship, the chameleon at Ixtaka. This underworld will be your grave. I shall have my revenge. Revenge! That was the ship that Deloka was building at the Tangrel. Ika, did you secure Fina's ship? Yes, it's on board already. All right, all hands to battle stations. Here's our chance to finally rid the world of that psycho. This ability is poor, so it'll be hard to hit him when he's far away. Try an attack from close range. The Chameleon! Vice, Vice, Vice! The day for you to die is finally here! I'll destroy you, and your ship, and your crew, and, and, um, and I'll kill you! <laughs> so, anything I should know, or just blast him? Okay, so Chameleon, focus for the first round. Uh, you can just kind of, I mean, you don't have to do it every, you can take some <laughs> take some shots. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right, there's no indication still, because, yeah, we can't see what's going on in Deep Sky. <laughs> yeah. But he'll kill me. Will he? Well, that's what he says. <laughs> Next time, I will just load up my ship with four different torpedoes. That's a good idea. Just fire a million torpedoes. Sounds good to me. What's that weapon he has? Um, I'm assuming it's a hook shot or grappling hook of some kind. Looks like a gra- yeah. It's a hook shot. He just took, he went to Hyrule and he grabbed the hook shot and put it on his ship. Well, I mean, he is using green at the moment, so, you know. He just kind of like staples random things on his ship. It's so funny. Yeah, he does. Oh, thank you, Tika Tika. Guarantee you that percentage is really helping down here. Oh, yeah. Um, Can we Moonstone Cannon in Deep Sky? I don't think we can, right? I, I don't know that we can. We don't, I don't yeah. think we have good enough visibility. Yeah. Vice, the visibility is too poor. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on outside. Especially with the shutters down. Mm -hmm. If the enemy ship is too far away, it would be impossible to see it through the clouds. We need to be able to lock on with our cannons. Our only chance is to wait until Deloco comes close to us. Watch his maneuvering patterns closely. All right. Let's... So it's like watch the animations is what he's advising, I think. I suppose so. I don't remember 
using a lot of strategy as part. I just kind of pounded away at like it's not he's not hard enough to. <laughs> right. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he that didn't feel good, did it, buddy? He's having some troubles. Oh, he just limped off. Yeah, he's like, bye bye. No, no, no! How, how could the chameleon defeat it three times? Not one time, not two times, but three times! This can't be, this can't be, this is all just a dream, it's just an illusion, I, I refuse to believe it! Admiral, get a hold of yourself. Uh. <laughs> Admiral, are you all right? <laughs> this time, dear little Vice, I've prepared something special just for you. It's not over yet, Vice. I still have one last trick up my sleeve. Fire the DeLoco Harpoon Cannon! Harpoon Cannon, fire! What was that? <laughs> I shot to beat you with the Harpoon Cannon just like you defeated me! I'll get you this time, Vice. I'll get you, I'll get you. <laughs> well, at least we know where he's at now. Uh-huh. You want to get away from me this time, Vice? Now, 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 I will kill you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh yeah, you hit me with a special weapon. I'm gonna hit you really hard with cannons. <laughs> yeah. And torpedoes. For as smart as Deloco is, I do not think he thought this one through all the way. <laughs> he's got that... What is that? That book smart? Not, not really... He's not really a strategic... Yeah. He's not really good at combat. He's good at, like, just theory and stuff. Science. Right. If the point of the combat was to put out the most power, he would probably win. Well, not with the Delphinus. At, at yeah. his uh, at opposition. But he built the Delphinus, so... Well, and this is just a bad move, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his ship. Like, R right. forcing, forcing the, yeah, constant broadside, like... Mm, Delphina says better guns than you do, buddy. Right. Miss. Evasive action while anchored to the ship. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's, uh... <laughs> Picturing, heck, evasive action! Like, did you forget we're anchored to the ship? Like, we can't, <laughs> we can't do that, <laughs> sir. Uh, sir? <laughs> sir? Sir? It's not happening. Yeah. Until he tries to rip it off of the ship and creates a hole in the hole. A hole yeah, in see, the that, hole. that's the real problem that this whole hole, hole, hole in the hole, hole, ah, ah, this situation's bad. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. Right. <laughs> Oh, That's hey now. Annoying. That's not okay. We'll fix that next round. Do not like Dronos. Mm -mm. Hmm. I see you magicking a lot over there. Magic spells. That'll good do. Damage. Wow. Oh, because the front end. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. There's a definite pattern to it, but it just is not. Um. That's probably going to be the best. I think that'll reverse it. Yeah. That's my hope, anyway. Got enough complete kits, might as well use them. 
Yeah. I can magic too. That's right. It's so dark down here. <laughs> so dark. Yeah, but the the harpoon is kind of a brilliant weapon to use in this environment because if you rip a hole in the ship, like, right. can it really withstand the pressure? Like they have to like. Hopefully, they've got some kind of bulkhead they can bring down. I, yeah, I have to imagine that that was something they had to consider, right? Was if it got pierced in some way, there are bulkheads to keep. But if you put a big enough crack in the hole, even with bulkheads, like, at a weak point especially, it's not going to matter. That pressure I mean, is just going to crush you. It's only it's only so effective. But right. It's still something good to have. Oh, look at that miss. Yeah. <laughs> You fool, uh -huh. the loco. You can't hit anything. Fool. Right. Use the three-inch cannon. It's a the three-foot cannon. <laughs> I know, sir. <laughs> Listen here. You I read it trash. and I can't read, so I I always want to call it a three-inch cannon. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. It doesn't. It doesn't help that we actually had a three-inch and five-inch cannon sub cannon before, specifically. Okay. Yeah. Fires bullets. Pellets, yeah. Pellet. We got pellet guns on our ship. Oh. Pew pew. That's not fair. I want to do damage too. How about now? Man! <laughs> the torpedoes are the only things that haven't missed on us yet. Yeah. Thank you, Tika Tika. Yeah. Alright. I always love torpedoes. They're probably my favorite weapon class, other than the specials on the ships in this game. I agree. Sub cannons are all right. Sub cannons with Bell, especially, are quite good. Yeah. But if you're more of a main cannon guy or gal, then Kazim is your man. Yeah, it's just torpedoes are so cool because they just go flying into like upper sky and then they come back down. Right. Very interesting. Well, and again, this um, this game is hard to understand fully the scope of how big and how far away things are. Mm, yeah. So even though it looks like it's going up into like lower sky or whatever, or upper sky, depending on where we're at, right from in here specifically, right? Um, yeah. It. It probably doesn't even come close, you know. Yeah. Twin yeah, Captain turbo. Stripe. Yeah, oh, man, twin turbo. Yeah. Another yeah. one. Out of here, Deloco. <laughs> you know, he's a repeating boss. He's a little annoying, but I still love him. <laughs> ah, hot, hot, hot! Somebody help me! Somebody tell me this bad dream! Oof, I am um, not sure that's going to buff out. Nope. Not that time. It looks like that's the end of the bubble head. <laughs> yeah, but that was a tough fight. If we took on too much damage, we would have been stuck down here. Well, we retrieved Phoenix ship. Let's get back up. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, Vice. Even Vice feels... A little out of whack here. Now you can poke around some more here, um, but 
essentially all you need to do now is just hover toward the surface and uh, yes. be able to leave deep sky. So there um, is one item down here, right, yeah. that we need. Okay. Technically. I believe the soundproofing is out here somewhere. Um, Let's see. If I recall correctly. But I think it's a drop from an enemy. Raja. So we is, fought that one earlier. But we did not get it. It's like a 10% chance. So if this, if this initiates a fight, we'll give it one more shot. Yep. See and if we did. are lucky. And uh, if we are, awesome. And if we're not, I'm not going to stress it. Yeah. So if you are trying to get the extravagant title, uh, this is where the last item is. You're going to have to fight these guys until one of them drops soundproofing. Um, this may be a situation, I don't remember if the one that is not Khalifa gives you an increased drop rate. Um, oh, that's a good question. Yeah, that may be something you can buff it, but it's a 10% chance otherwise. Yeah. That's okay, we'll give it, we'll give it one shot. Yep. Um, and see how we do. And 10% isn't the worst percentage for no. a rare drop. No, it's not bad, but I think we'll um, we'll just move on for we our got, purposes, because... We've um, we got things to do. Yeah, so to explain, um, and, and we kind of went over this before, but the extravagant title isn't actually a title we're going to see, because we already have the requirements for Sky Battle King, which outranks extravagant. Um, it outranks several others as well, like Charismatic, Battle Lord, Fisher King. Um, so, <laughs> but you know, it's just kind of a cool thing to collect. We have all but one. We, we're missing only the soundproofing. We have every single other one. Right. Um, Ooh, that was good. And these are uh, irrelevant to the ultimate title as well. The extravagant. Um, is, is irrelevant to that. So Right. We have most of the requirements for the ultimate title. We just have a couple more things we need to do. But it yeah, would be cool if it would drop. Yeah, just trying to be a, a little thorough in our completionist state. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this should clear up the this round. All done. All done. Yeah, these these fights aren't too long. All right, let's see how our luck is. Oh, crystal ball. Oh well. Crystal ball. Up we go. Okay. Yeah. Boy, Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just to clarify, Osman is the other uh, crew member you can designate. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to Khalifa. Um, Apparently, that does not increase the status. Okay. Uh, or the chance of, of items dropping. So. Okay. Wow, it's really loud in here, but this looks like a structure to me. Yes, it does. So interesting. I would definitely love more games in this world. Yeah. I'd it's be like happy with a, a, an HD remastering of it, too. I don't want to remake. Like, mm -hmm. the game as it is is fine. Yep. Um, Remaster would be cool, though. Yeah. All right. All right. So our next destination is Sailor's Island, because uh, we have to drop off Enrique. Uh, um, you yeah. may want to remove... I don't remember if this gets unequipped, but you may want to remove his accessory. Good idea. Uh, you can give him back like his default one, I think. Well, what did he come with? The Imperial Seal? Imperial Crest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't think it matters so much with the armor, but yeah, the accessory is very good, so we're going to want to have that one available, I think, because we're going to be down to three party members here momentarily, so we want to have yeah. our good accessories available. We do have something to deal with before we can drop off Enrique, though. Oh, right. I forgot about Balter again. 
I had forgotten all about him. Mm-hmm. Captain Balter, there's a really, really powerful looking ship coming our way off the port side. It's it's the ship everyone's talking about, the Delphinus, the one that the Blue Rogue Vice commands. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vice, we meet again. This time I have a little something special for you. All right, men, on the pride of the Black Pirates. Kill them all! Brother. <laughs> Vice, Black Pirate's dead ahead. Wait. Hey, isn't that Balcher's ship? <sighs> Looks like they've done a little work on their own ship as well. Let's go test out their new defenses for them. Now we have two rows of cannons. <laughs> How do you like the power of the new and improved Blackbeard? This ship is equipped with nothing but the best stuff that stolen money can buy. It's the ultimate black pirate ship. <laughs> okay, but this is a value in Armada <laughs> battleship. <laughs> All right, so we can focus up on the first round and focus on that critical um, square on the second. And then if we somehow don't kill him on that, uh, Moonstone Cannon will be available in round three. Okay. This is not a bad fight. Um, it's a good idea to have your health high, which ours is fine for this. Uh, you could use uh, Ingram here. Uh, yeah, or try out one of these items. It's fine. That'll work too. I mean, we bought them. We should use them. Yeah. Hex shell. Hmm. Interesting. Sure. Why not? Um. Machine oil. Ah, uh, yeah. Fire bomb. Thanks, Yurala. <laughs> must be all that like good yakitoma and sushi. Yeah, it must be. Baltor ship is cool, though. I like it. It is cool those black sails. It's a good traditional pirate ship. Yep. It's the Black Pearl. Kind of. It's the Black Beard. Yeah. <laughs> I know that said the Vega Cannon, but all I could think of was the Vegeta Cannon. <laughs> Vegeta. <laughs> Cannon plus Vegeta Cannon. <laughs> Fires Vegeta Juniors at them. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. Most unfortunate. <laughs> Alrighty. Look at that round three. Okay. He's going to have a bad time, that's for sure. Yeah, he is. Um. Yeah. Why yeah. not? Yep. Uh, you know what? I don't think Ingram's gonna matter, actually. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. He's um, he doesn't have a lot of health, so you could put a torpedo on the moon or a web web cannon. Yeah, because we're firing the torpedo on that one. Yeah, and then we can moonstone. Assuming he survives this. Hey, it'd be kind of funny if I could do enough damage that Moonstone Cannon went required. Yeah. He, um... That's, he just, that's pretty potent. He does not... Yeah, he's kind of glass cannony. He, he does not have a lot of health, but... He can oh, hit pretty hard. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's not surviving this round. No. No, he is not. <laughs> not unless we miss like crazy, but I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. Anything's <laughs> possible. Going three for three and not dying to Eternus was a stroke of miraculous luck. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, we are getting some good experience. Yep. A spherical vigor. 
Also, remember to use your captain stripe from the last battle. Right, of course. We'll see if the spherical figure is any better than the goddess figure, too. Spherical figure sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Curse you, Vice! How could you defeat me again? The next time we meet, I will defeat you! You will rule the day that you crossed Baltar! Why? Will? <laughs> Good job, Vice. Seriously, that fool doesn't know when to give up. But at least he's not a quitter. That fool? <laughs> not only do you have the armada chasing you, Vice, the Black Pirates are after you as well. You're quite popular. What a way to spend that. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the kind of popularity that I need. Well, I'm glad that my last battle on the Delphinus was a victorious one. Okay. Buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bring it down the mood, buddy. All right, Sailor's Island should be coming up soon, Vice. Let's go. I'm the captain. I say let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right. <laughs> sorry, you're stuck on here a little longer. We gotta gotta mess with some stuff. Nope, I should wait. You should use the stripe first. Yes, yes I should. <laughs> All right, uh, Cap Captain Stripe. Fifty-six. And now, there we go. Perfect. And the Venus, not that. <laughs> this ah, you. I think um, it's better than the goddess figure, if I remember right. Triple uh, Turbo. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely better. Uh, timing valve is the ship's quick. The triple turbo would be better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. And I don't think we've got any better armor decks lately, but we will take a look here. Yeah, thanks. So. Alloy deck. Okay. Ooh. Sweet. That's what happens yeah. when we're not paying attention. Straight up upgrade. You'll be yelling at us to put on the alloy deck forever. All right. <laughs> I don't even remember when we got that. Oh, I don't. I don't either. We're crunching stuff with Delphinus, so yeah. But it's still good to have the best stuff equipped. If you can remember to do it, remember to do as we say, not as we do. Right. Buddy. Good luck. A little butter boat. Enrique, <laughs> are you really going? I. I am the Prince of Iowa. I must return to warn every one of Gaussian's plans. Gregorio was willing to give his life for what he believed in. I must do the same. You, of all of you, taught me so much. About ships, about the sky, what it means to fight. And you taught me that there are all kinds of people in this world. People worth fighting for. People worth dying for. I want to protect them. All of them. Especially Moegi. I want to build a country where the people don't have to live in fear. Please forgive me for leaving your side, but I have got to save Iowa. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I believe. Don't get. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so I believe. Be careful. Gives three. Don't get seasick. Gives four. <laughs> it gives four. I think it does. <laughs> uh, I'm willing to do that. Don't get airsick, okay? You're a sailor now, Enrique, and sailors don't get airsick. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Vice. It means a lot to me to be accepted as a fellow sailor by you. There you I go. I can't promise that I won't get sick anymore, but I swear that I won't embarrass Delphinus or her crew. There you go. I guess it's because it's so casual, especially for I... his position. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Enrique, be careful. It's also boosting an assumption that you're he's going to be fine. Yeah. If you don't come back and visit us, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I'll never forget your travels together. Our travels together. Blah, 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 blah. My tongue is tied. That way, she, <laughs> her waving, she's just... Bye! <laughs> oh, my God. Full body waving. I guess we I have to have everybody leave the party at least way. once. Yeah, right. Yeah. Everything she Ever does, full throttle. Yep, yep. 
Hey, ha has our title changed yet? It has. Yeah. All right. So we got Exploration King. Interesting. Is Exploration King lower than Sky Battle? No, it is not. Actually, it is higher. So, yeah, that's all discoveries and 90% of treasure chests. I wasn't sure what our percentage was. Oh, wow. So there's only one um, non-ultimate uh, swashbuckling rank above that one, and that's for defeating all wanted battles. Ah, which is what we're missing for our best weapon, too, right? I think... No, not quite. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's it's um it's a little different than that, but yeah. Um, I think I just know that those are similar conditions, at least. So all treasures and oh. all wanted battles. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and then so. we'll be able to go get it, but yeah, it'll yeah. It, it'll be a minute before we get there. Yes, yes, it will. Well then, shall we head back to Crescent Isle and get Phoenix ship ready? Enrique left us, and once we get back to Crescent Isle, Fina will leave us too. It... it kind of makes me not want to go home. Sorry. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm sorry, Fina. I guess I will miss you. This is the first time in my life that I haven't been excited about sailing somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Fast travel to Crescent Isle. Yes, indeed. All right. Home sweet home. Hey, looks like they made it back alive after all. Builder. And Clara. Oh, yes. And Clara. Aika, Fina, long time no see. Hi, Vice. You all look well. Builder. Clara? It's great to see you two. What's the basket? I just baked a bunch of pies. Come on, let's eat it while we're still warm. <laughs> so many pies. I know, right? Wow, really? Homemade pies? Clara, you're the best. Glad you all made it back safely. And it looks like you got Fina's ship back. Does that mean you'll be returning to the Great Silver Shrine soon? Yes. Thank you, Gilda, for all that you've done for me. <laughs> you don't have to thank me. You guys did all the hard stuff. Well, Fina, it looks like you've completed your mission. You're going to home a hero. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, since we're leaving us, we should throw a going away party. Let's hear it for Fina. Aye, aye. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye. Story, story. Yup. Look at Tika Tika. What a champ. That man stays on that rail all the time. He sure does. <laughs> Ta-da! Feast your eyes on this. That is a giant pop. Wow, it looks delicious. Clara, you're amazing. Amazing. <laughs> well, Fina, looks like this is going to be a great party. Yes, thank you, all of you. It means so much to me. I I started off not knowing anything about this world, but thanks to all of you, I was one of the first to sail around it. But I remember when you first got here, you didn't even know what it meant to buy stuff. What? What kind of crazy place is she from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. She said that they don't use gold at the Great Silver Shrine. Wow, that's odd. I don't know if you guys are really advanced or really behind. <laughs> it's not just gold that we don't have. Flowers, animals. There are so many things that I have never seen until I came here. In my travels with all of you, I experienced so much. And one more thing. I learned something very important while I was over here. When I left the shrine, the elders told me, you cannot trust anybody in that world. They said that the people of this world were fools who just bickered amongst themselves and burned in the flames that they themselves set. Partially true. 
<laughs> but I met so many caring people while I was here. I learned that even though some try to obtain their objectives through war, there are others that work together to try and bring peace. I learned so much. The memories that we've shared will be the most valuable treasures I'll ever have. Well then, tonight we party until morning. Bye -bye. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> and so, Venus Farewell Party continued merrily until the morning light. <laughs> Problem got hit in the face with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Food was shared, tales were told, and the bonds of friendship were strengthened. The first encounter with Fina, Great Escape from Valua, the search for the moon crystals. As the memories resurfaced, it seemed as if there would be no end to the days they would have spent traveling together. And then... Ominous music. Hmm. Bina, what's wrong? Let's join in the fun. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'll have to leave. I'll be alone again. I don't want to leave. I want, I want to stay here with all of you. You all mean so much to me. You know, I. Ah, ah. Uh... <laughs> what was that? Problems is what it was. Problems. Ice, ice, it's emergency. It's the Armada. They're here. The Armada? The They're Armada? Hungry. How did they find us? <laughs> Man, not my base. On fire. Problems. Who could be doing this? We just got it all buffed out too. Mm -hmm. And now it's all on fire. Ice, look out! Now that's the Monoceros. With some very unique value ones. Huh? <laughs> nice place you had here. Pity that it's burning to the ground. We'd have to ask you to surrender, but we decided that it would be more fun to kill you. You would. Bruh. <laughs> now do we have... Yep, just three of them. Okay. Uh, they're blue? Yeah. Looks like. You probably move Fina back to silver. Um... Yeah. What was she on? I don't even remember. Green. Uh, was she on what? Green? Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, green. Green seems right. Yeah. She doesn't need green though. Well then, blue maybe. Yeah, why not? Just do blue. All right. Red and yellow are effective against blue. So. Does she need red? I can't remember. I don't think so. Oh, she does. Okay. Oh. Eh, whatever. That's fine. All right. I know Fina only needs silver, so definitely move her back to silver. Right. Attack. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad from what I remember. Over there. No. The worst is fine. to come. <laughs> How dare you. They got interesting claw weapons. They do. Hmm. Punching daggers? Yeah, something like that. He just kind of bowed his head like, oh. <laughs> I'm out. Get him. Oh. That's alright. Hmm. 
I like mm. the name of that. Wonder if that has an instant death chance or something. Probably. <laughs> Knowing our luck. There we go. Problem solved. Eight. We did it. Level up. All right. Looks good. As good as it's gonna get. Bonaceros. Ah, you and scum. How do they find our base? My question exactly. If you must know. It's you. Mirez. A patrol ship spotted the Delphinus when you came to Dangro. And they followed you back here. But I have no interest in you or any of your crew. There's another purpose for my visit. I'm here for the crystals. Hand them over now. If you hand them over peacefully, I will call off my troops. If not, we will bombard your pitiful island until you're all dead. I'm assuming this nope. is the answer I need. Nope. Really? Yep. Okay. Did you think we just hand them over? You'll have to kill us. Nothing would make me happier. Now, you will die. This is an interesting fight. Um, if you recall, before when we forgot or when, when we fought Ramirez, um, we were no match for him. Now, the same is true. However, uh, it is technically possible to defeat him. Um, what you're probably going to want to do if you want to defeat him in this encounter is level up to as high as you can stand. Um, if you can get 99 before this, good luck with that. Um, but he does have the same amount of HP. You're just in a much better position, even though you're down a party member, um, to deal with him in this encounter. You, there's just no opportunity to level up properly in the previous one. Gotcha. Um, but Ramirez is pretty much the same as last time. He will use Silver Eclipse. Wow. He, he went into that real fast. Yep. Opening with Silver Eclipse. Um, Sword of the Dark Moon. Yeah, it is possible for him to sacrilim himself in this encounter. If you get him low enough, though. Which can undo like hours. Everything. It'll take you, yeah. It'll take you several hours to defeat him in this encounter, and it's not. It's it's a scripted loss, just like the last one. So there's no reason to do it, right? Um, really, other than if you just want to do it. <laughs> um, we'll go down fighting, of course. Um, but in this encounter, it's a good idea to go down fighting for swashbuckler rating and all of that. Yeah. Although we do have a maxed swashbuckler rating at this point. Yeah, but you guys need the full experience. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and if you've missed a few points, uh, you don't have to get every single choice correct uh, to get the maximum rank. Right. Because uh, we do have quite a bit of swashbuckling uh, points uh, still to get here. Yep, yep. Love this song. Here goes. Ha ha, take that. Got one off <laughs> on you. Yep. He has Dronos, I believe he has Sakurlin, and then there's something else that makes this encounter annoying. Let me see if I start down here. Yeah, instant death hit. 
Because that definitely had more than 194 HP there. Yep. You know what? Lambda burst. <laughs> I hurts. You'll never see it coming. That's right. <laughs> it's 43. <laughs> Way to go, Ika. What a champ. Oh, yeah. The other problem with this is you do not have access to Prophecy because you're down a party member. So you can use blue rogues in this encounter. This health bar is not even moving. Yep. Uh, man, Ika yeah. is a beast. Yeah, she's just like, yeah, good luck. Yeah, you, you only really see his oh, health. Oh, here we th go. There it is. All done. His health bar only really moves after 100k damage. Um, so. And, and by a sliver, I assume. Yeah, not much. About 1% uh, of his total HP. Good grief. Mm-hmm. And now, with the power of the Chaos Emeralds, I shall rule the... Um, at last, all of the crystals are mine. And you become Super Ramirez. <laughs> Ramirez, wait! Excuse me, we were on the ground a second ago. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? You know, the people of this world don't deserve to live. Like you, I was sent here to gather the crystals. Shortly after I arrived, I discovered the value and empire was also searching for them. They were relentless. I knew they would eventually find them. After Valio's forces retrieved the crystals, I was going to steal them and return to the shrine. While I was in Valua, I learned a great deal about the people of this world, and what motivates them. Greed. Hatred. Bigotry. They only value material items that can be bought with gold. The people of this world are shallow and petty. I lost all hope for them. I began to despise these loathsome creatures. But there was one. One that was different from all the rest. Lord Gaussian. Lord Gaussian was swayed neither by flattery nor gold. He was also had little faith in the people of this world. Only one thing mattered to him. That was power. Lord Gaussian convinced me that this world needed a single ruler. One who could slaughter the weak and lead the strong. He showed me the meaning of true power. One who holds all the power can end lives, destroy cities, and change the world. Do you even hear yourself? <laughs> A man like Gaussian needs to rule this world. Only he can unlock its potential. I swore an oath I would lay down my sword and my life for Lord Gaussian. We now hold all of the crystals. With these, a power greater than the Gigas will be brought back to this world. Now all of you will bow before him. Right. I do not believe it matters what you pick here. You're a fool for underestimating us. Do you think we'll just let you get away with this? Fools. What can you do without the moon crystals? You don't even know their true purpose. What are you talking about? power to call down the reins of destruction lies hidden within them. Mina, you knew that it was our people that called down the reins of destruction, did you not? What? <laughs> that, that's a lie! We are not sent here to prevent the Gigas from being revived. We were sent here so the Elders could unearth the lost continent of Soltis. It is our true mission. Once the six moon crystals are combined, the lost continent shall rise from the deep sky. But now I work for Gaussian. Together we will raise the lost continent, and with it unleash the reins of destruction ourselves. I don't know what you mean by lost continent, but aren't you people forgetting something? You only have five of the crystals. The battle isn't over until you have all six. You 
are correct, but you don't know about the sixth crystal, the silver crystal. Watch closely. What the? In his hand? The silver crystal? <gasps> ah! Fina! All Savites are born with a piece of the silver crystal within them. In other words, the silver crystal contains our life force. Only through death can the crystal be retrieved from our bodies. Unlike Theodora, we are not interested in Fina's knowledge of the ancients. We are interested in the crystal within her body. Fina, you shall give me the sixth crystal. That's a problem. He's killing Fina! Fina! Um, Fina, give your life to Lord Gaussian. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. <laughs> it's a good thing that guy's long winded. <laughs> I was monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we got you covered. Bests. Nevertheless, I got what I came for. I can get the silver crystal anytime I please. In other words, you don't want to get blasted by the cannon. <laughs> I'm. It's a legitimate concern. It Fina. is. The crystals are ours. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay for this, Ramirez. You will pay. He's peaced out. I don't know. He's not. Give them to Ramirez. That's gonna say, wrong. I was going to say, I don't think gave is the right terminology here. Had them violently stolen by Ramirez. That's what happened. Yes. Vice, <sighs> I just finished putting out the last fire. This is horrible. I know. Everything we work so hard for is gone. Our base, it's in ruins. Good to know the chickens are okay, though. That's right. You can't kill the chickens. They have the power of chicken on their side. Uh, that's <gasps> true. <laughs> and we lost all of the crystals. The Delphinus isn't powerful enough to invade Valua either. What are we supposed to do now? Okay. Steal them back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Kind of weird. There's all right. I believe I will not give up is the right choice, or it doesn't matter. So <laughs> I will not give up. Nice. I. It's not going to be easy, but we can rebuild our base. As for the crystals, well, at least we know where they're all going in the same place. Don't give up, Ika. If we give up, then Ramirez will destroy the entire world. We have to keep fighting. There's always a way. Protagonist energy. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. At one point, this was a deserted island, and you were stranded here by yourself. Exactly. That reminds me. Osfina. Well, actually, ever since Ramirez left, she's been in the meeting room by herself. I think everything that happened yesterday was a little too much for her. Ice, why don't you try talk to her? I can't imagine what she's going through. Yeah, I'll go talk to her. Pretty traumatizing event. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Next time, I think. Yeah.
Now we have a chance to make it better. Yeah. While well, some of the crew members were complaining that our old roofs were leaked and stuff, now's our chance to rebuild a better base. Got some optimistic people before, but Vice, you put them all to shame. <laughs> but you're right. We're going to rebuild our base. This could be better than ever. That's right. The chickens are Chicken going crazy. They are just like, oh man, oh man. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Good thing we worked so far is gone. Stop crying. <laughs> yep. We'll give Ismail a hand. We'll have our base back up in no time. For Ismail sees this as a chance to prove the old one. I'm do yeah. my best. All right. You do Nobody your best. Died. The underground stuff is still intact. It better be. <laughs> hey. Hey, aw, yeah. What? Oh, oh. Yeah, we we can't. We, we have to talk to Fina before. Yeah. All right. Well, we will tackle that next time, I think, because this video has been going on a hot minute. Okay. Do we have a save point around here? Good question. Do, right? If not, then this video is going on a little long. This one yeah, right we got here. Save point here. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we'll just we'll pick this up next time. Um, we gotta rebuild. We gotta figure out what we're doing next. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Hope you've been having a good time. I know we have. Got a lot done today, so thanks for sticking with us through the scariest fight. I know I made it because of your support. And if you like what you've been watching, obviously like, subscribe share please but thanks more than anything thanks for just being here and hanging out with us uh and we will see what becomes of fina and maybe i'll finally get that nice sword i've been trying to get next time <laughs> next time yep we are getting uh we're getting close to the end of uh as Arcadia legends but we there's still quite a bit more to uh go through here so yeah looking forward to it very very close indeed mm -hmm. but until next time we'll see you then Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye everybody. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>